So hi guys, um, I, made, I did some videos earlier in, in the history of the channel uh, reviewing the Doctor Who season 10 and I kind of got a bit distracted and I'm going to do a big season 10 ender, do the whole season all in one go because that's what I'm like. Um, but I wanted to talk to you out there, I also wanted to talk to you out there that aren't usual subscribers that might read this because it has Doctor in the title. I am and have always been one of the biggest Doctor Who fans ever. Um, I mean, not crazy, you know, but a fan. Um, Doctor Who has been around probably longer than Star Wars in my life, uh, which is my other great love. Um, but it's, yeah, it's, it's a very important thing to me. I... I grew up with, I suppose Tom Baker would be my doctor. Um, and I, I, my mum used to work on a Saturday, so I used to miss a lot of the episodes. I'd get home and watch the last five or ten minutes of it. And it was like, I was always like, oh, that looked really good. Um, and I have caught with them <clears throat> as I've got older on DVD and things like that. And repeats. I remember when it was, a, I think it would be the... It was one of the anniversaries, and they did a, a, a season of the the would it be the four doctors? So they showed Unearthly Child, the one with the quarks in it. The dom I think it's the Dominators. I have to Google that, but yeah, Dominators. And it was terrible. <laughs> um, sorry. And um, they also showed the three doctors. Carnival of Monsters and one of Tom Baker's and I forget which one that was but it was one of the Tom Baker's and they showed them on BBC Two six o'clock so I would have my tea and I'd watch them and I I sort of re-fell in love with Doctor Who through that um, I had the toys as a child I had the the action figures the dolls the, the Doctor Who doll I had the TARDIS that you used to spin the top and if you press the green button he was there and he spun it again, he pressed the red button and he'd disappear. Oh, it was mind blowing. Apart from when he'd fall out of the back and get trapped in it. But anyway, um, I had the little Daleks, we pressed the top and they had a little record in them, if you know what a record is. But yeah, um, yeah. I could talk for hours about what Doctor Who means to me, the history of Doctor Who to me. Um, and I, I want you guys to share this with me. So I want you out there. Um, that may be new to the channel and not looked at this before, I want you to tell me what you want me to talk about with Doctor Who. I'm going to talk a little bit more about it, but I want your opinion on, on Doctor Who. I want you to tell me what you want me to tell you. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, so yeah, Tom Baker was my Doctor. I have to admit, now as, a, as an adult, I, I do like John Pertwee. Um, and the entertaining thing to me is I, I, I've bought 90% of the DVDs. And the Three Doctors, I was born the day they were filming part of that. It was really weird, you know, the little the little text information thing across the bottom. Um, 61172, they were filming that. And it, it's it's mind-blowing for me that, you know, I was yeah, into the world and, and that was happening. Yeah. But uh, we used to... Okay, I don't know if you're from England. I'm English. Um, you might have guessed from the accent. And as a kid, we used to go to Blackpool. I had an uncle that lived there. We used to go to Blackpool a lot. And they had the Doctor Who exhibition there. Which, as a kid, I always wanted to go see. Oh, let's go see it. Let's go see it. Let's go see it. And every time I wanted to see it, I would run through it, scared out of my mind. Because there's Daleks. There's Daleks. And yeah, it used to scare me. And as a very small child, we went one day and we were driving past it. And they had a Cyberman stood outside. And my mum was like, oh, get out. Have your picture taken with the Cyberman. So my dad pulled the car up. I jump out. Mum jumps out. We've got his camera. I go up and the Cyberman stood there. And I walk and I stand in front of the Cyberman. And he puts his hands on my shoulders. And we have a picture somewhere of me screaming like a girl. Because this Cyberman, it was a, it was a Cyberman. It was a guy in a suit. And it scared the living out of me. Um, <laughs> yeah, I've done conventions. I used to stand at conventions. I had my foot stood on by Tom Baker. He apologised. I'm very sorry, young man. Uh, he was really nice. I've met Colin Baker, Peter Davidson, 
and they've all been really nice. I met Sylvester McCoy. Sorry, Sylvester, if you watch this, but you were a bit grumpy the day I met you. Um, Sophie, Sophie Aldred, if I said that right. Um, Katie Manning, who is mad. She's brilliant. And and she was my first crush. I had such a crush on her watching Card of Love Monsters. And I still giggle to myself when I watch it now because cause she was ever said that to better, yeah. But yeah, I, I even once met uh, John Pertwee. He was, they, were, they did some, I don't know if you guys know, but they did a stage play of Doctor Who. And he was, he was playing the Doctor in Leeds. It was a musical. You can find it, Big Finish do an audio book of it. So look for that. And I'm a big Finnish fan. And he was walking down a set of steps. He was obviously doing a little bit of a press thing. And I was taking a shortcut through this shopping centre. And he was going, he was coming down towards me. He had the cape and everything on, just like he used to wear in the, the episodes. And he went, hello, my boy. And I was like, oh. And he smiled at me, just walked past me. I just stood with my mouth open. And he was like, and he went off to, to do his press thing. And sadly, he wasn't very well. So he didn't actually do it. I went to see the performance and he, he didn't do it. It was Colin Baker, but he was brilliant in it. Uh, Colin Baker, it was the, the shade between John Pertwee and Colin Baker. And I got to see Colin Baker do it and he was brilliant. Um, I don't know if my dad enjoyed it. He went with me. Um, but yeah, Doctor Who has been a big part of my life. And I'd like to share my experiences and my stories and, and what I know about Doctor Who with you. But I need you to tell me what you want to know about it. Um, do you want me to review episodes? Do you want me to review old episodes? I mean, I love the new stuff. I grew up, I was there for the old stuff. So maybe you younger Whovians, you younger people out there, I can tell you stuff about the old, before the dark, you know, in the dark times. I remember going to friends' houses. I had a friend whose um, girlfriend's parents wouldn't let him and her alone upstairs but if I was there oh, it's fine and they used to sit snogging behind me and I I watched uh, Resurrection no I watched I watched quite a few episodes of it it's like oh get a room um yeah I love Doctor Who and I have my sonic screwdriver which will help me in this this quest I was the guy that when the careers teacher at the age of 12 asked me what I wanted to be I said I wanted to be Doctor Who and I have always, every time they have auditioned for a new doctor, I always sit there thinking one day my phone will ring and it'll be the BBC saying, hello, we'd like you to, you know, be the doctor. Um, I, 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 yeah. I, as a kid, I always used to, I wished for that sound, that sound of the TARDIS. And I would have been in there. I would have, you wouldn't have had to have asked me twice. I'd have been on that ship and gone. Um... Yeah, so this is a little bit of a ranty thing, but I am going to do some proper Doctor Who stuff. Like I'm going to do one about season 10. I may do ones about all the seasons from New Who, or whatever we call it now. Because you guys have got to remember, there's a lot of you out there that haven't seen the old Doctor Who. Um, I was there for it. I've watched a lot of it, and you should give it a try, because some of it is really good. Some of it, yes, you'll look at it and go, that's a cardboard set. Also, if you are a fan of, uh, like, the Big Finish stuff, I've got a lot of that. If you want me to do reviews or talk about episodes of that, I love um, the audiobooks. I haven't read a lot of the books. I am dyslexic, so books to me are a bit of a problem, but I, will, I love audiobooks, so the audio stuff I am brilliant with. So, I say so a lot, you'll notice. If you've enjoyed this, if you want to hear more from me, give me some subscriptions, give me some likes, give me some thumbs up. I want to know what you want me to talk about, yeah? Because I am a big Doctor Who fan. Let's all enjoy it together, yeah? So thank you for listening to me. I hope you'll subscribe. Have a great day, a great night. If anybody's got any jelly babies, I'd really like some. I've got a real for jelly babies. So have a great night, a great evening. Please subscribe and I will see you all really soon.